Let's consider a small one-dimensional grid as shown here. We want a region in the middle where we can model a plane wave propagating across a segment of the grid, say this region. This region will include both incident and scattered fields, so I'm going to call it the total field region. To the left of this, we'll have a scattered field region, and to the right, as well. Now I arbitrarily put an EZ component right at the interface between the total and scattered field regions. We could have also chosen an HY component to be at the interface. It really doesn't matter. Let's mark which of these field components are total versus scattered fields. The very first and last EZ fields are still a PEC and then that means that from here, this HY over to this HY, these are going to be scattered fields as well as over here. All the E's and the H's in that region. And then here, I'll choose a different color. For these, including the EZ's right at the interface, we're going to say that these are total fields. Because we're dividing the grid up in this manner, this approach for modeling a plane wave is called the total field, TF, scattered field, plane wave source condition. Now, let's talk about how to implement this in a one-dimensional FDTD code. Right now, we have only one EZ array going across the grid and one H Y array going across the grid. Can we still use a single EZ and HY array? Or do we need to split each of them up into three different arrays, one corresponding to each of the three regions? Well, we could define three different arrays for EZ and three also for HY, but all that does is make the implementation of the plane wave more tedious. Since the total and scattered fields don't overlap at all, we can still get away with using a single EZ array and a single HY array across the entire grid. We just need to remember that some of the EZs in our EZ array are total fields and some are scattered, scattered fields. And similarly for the HY array. Now also right now in our one-dimensional FDTD code, we have regular updates for all the EZ and the HY components, except for the very first and last EZ components, which are PECs. Can we still implement regular updates across the entire grid after we split the grid into total and scattered field regions? You can pause the video if you like. Well, within each region, we can use the FTTD update equations as usual, because the fields are consistent. That is, the field being updated, say this one right here, is surrounded by the same type of field. So this is a total field and these HYs are also total fields since they're in the total field region. And so it's consistent and we can update things as usual. However, there is an issue or an inconsistency at the two interfaces between the regions. This easy component here at the left interface has a total HY on one side, but a scattered HY on the other. And this easy is a total field. So what can we do about this? More specifically, how might we update this EZ component right at the interface between the total and the scattered field regions? 